Hello there, bitizens, and welcome to the Killer Bits. My name is Francesca, and today we're getting pointy and clicky as we check out Samorost 3. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of Samorost, Samorost was in fact a Flash game. Uh, Samorost 1 and 2 were Flash games, you could play them for free online. Uh, I think Samorost 2 you may have had to buy, but Samorost 1 I definitely played when I was way younger. You know, back in the days when you kind of played Flash games instead of, like, actual games? That was, that was me as a, as a kid. Anyhow, we are playing Samorost 3. This is from the makers of uh, Machinarium, so if you've played Machinarium, this is those guys, uh, and you can kind of see with the art style that it's Machinarium, because like they're kind of mechanical structures. They kind of almost look like the character from Machinarium. It's it's very clear art direction, and it's just very, it's very picturesque. It's very lush. We got a horn. We got a little dog. He goes how 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 how. Oh man, he's so cute. And there is a. Uh, there is our protagonist. Now, the developers typically call him Gnome. Like, when I was younger, I thought his name was Samorost. I thought that was his name, but he's typically called Gnome, and he is our protagonist. And you play as him in Samorost 1 and Samorost 2 as well uh, to solve puzzles. But you do not have to play Samorost 1 and Samorost 2 in order to play Samorost 3. Um, hopefully you guys will kind of see what kind of point-and-click game this is as we go on. Ooh. It, so, uh, so this horn... I can make noise with it. Holy moly, I am a I am a child prodigy, or I guess a gnome prodigy. Mouse, scroll. Okay, what does this do? Oh, we can zoom in and out. So if we, we scroll down, it zooms in, and if we scroll up, it zooms out. And we can also look around. Okay. Um, so we've got this horn. I guess we can use that to listen or to play. We can click to walk, you see his little feet icon there, we can kind of wander about. Uh, maybe we can go see these little bunnies, let's go pet the bunnies. Did that work? He went in the hole. Oh, I'm putting all the bunnies in the hole. Run away, this scary no man is here. Ah, oh, the music, this game is so quaint. This is a very relaxing point and click. Hopefully the puzzles aren't, you know, uh, like painfully difficult, such that, you know, you don't want to play, because at the moment this just seems like a very kind of quaint experience. It's my dog. Oh, he's licking me. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? He's a good boy. You have to do like stupid voice when you talk to dogs. That's the only voice they understand. Uh, we've got a woodpecker. So, horn on the swirl. Okay, let's do that. See what happens. This woodpecker is not as musical as me. Um, so this is, I guess, just kind of teaching you the basic mechanics of the game. No, I didn't actually want to be licked by the dog. You're not a good boy anymore. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad. Let's, let's go to my house. Hmm, what's inside? Okay, we can go inside my house. We can go inside my house. I've got a chair. Heh. Meh. Heh. Don't need this. We've got a bath. Can we go in the bath? No? You don't want to have a bath? Oh, we don't have any water. We haven't been paying our bills, you guys. Okay. We got a bed. You want to have a little nap? Yeah, we'll have a wee sleep. There you go. Oh, we're having a dream! What is this? Oh, we're dreaming of flying through space in a spaceship. I wonder if this is a clue. Like, maybe we have to make a spaceship? Well, I think it just loops. Right, let's have a look. We've got a book. We've got a bedtime story. Let's read this bedtime story. Oh, 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 we did it. Oh, that's so cute. That little animation for, like, successfully picking something up. Right, we got a book. Let's read the book. Once upon a time, there was some horns and space. And in space, there was a squid monster from the demon planet of Ugh. And he uses... uses? He used his tentacle powers. Why is, why is like, the, the propulsion coming out of the back? Normally it com comes out of the front. Eh, yeah, whatever. He used his squid powers to travel through space with death in his eyes and eat tree planets before going off and eating more. Oh, that's not very pleasant. I hope there's not an evil squid in space, like, in real life. That would be pretty terrible. Meanwhile, on the planet with the moon, time was passing and the horn people used their magical horns to commune with ghosts. Then... The ghosts ran away as they saw that the evil planet-eating monster was coming for them. Fortunately, they had enough time to prepare, so they had a discussion and then climbed off their musical hill and spoke to the elder. And the elder said, hmm, and, and uh, played with his beard a little bit before he figured out that he needed to make a robot 
So he built and he clanged and he clanged and he built and he made a robot. Meanwhile, I guess the squid was like just fucking around and not really attacking planets for a little bit. Maybe he was full. I don't know. And he found a piece of coal of magical prowess, except it wasn't of magical prowess until the horn players soothsayed the spirits into the coal, at which point they had magical coal. And then they were like, hey, 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 we have magical coal. And they placed it into the robot. And the robot became all powerful. Fortunately, they also had a massive sword on the planet and they used the massive sword to, we like, I guess, equip the robot who then flew into space. Holy shit. He flew into space and stabbed the tentacle demon in its back and chopped off its tentacles one at a time until there were no tentacles left. The, the, the squid demon was not too happy about this, as you can see. And the people cheered and said, hooray. And then they got on a magical robot shower and flew to the moon where they found the robot and killed him by stealing his magical coal. That's a shame. And so he rests on the moon. Then they landed back on some other planet. I guess this is the other moon because the planet had two moons, if we remember. If we go back a little, uh, a little more, wait too much. Yeah, see, they've got two moons. So they got two moons. They went to the other moon because, you know, you can't have enough moons. And when they landed on the moon... A monk gave them a storage place for their magical coal. And then they played music and released the spirits from the coal. Or maybe they made them make a barrier. I'm not entirely sure. And then they left the monk to guard the coal in his magical spirit barrier. The end. Well, I hope you guys all have pleasant dreams tonight. I have no idea what is going on. Maybe this is plot. I don't entirely know. How do we, how do we get back to the game? What is this? What is this? we line these up? Oh, we can. There must be... You must have to line them up somehow, right? <gasps> I opened the eye! Ooh, I got another book. This is like a magical eye book. So I guess if I line these up correctly, we gain some benefit. Oh, man, more bedtime stories, you guys. What is this? So you can read the book. I did that. Is this a clue? I don't want a clue. This is my house. We have a puzzle. We can look at the sky. And we read the book, we dreamt of flying, we did that already. We we did this, we listened to the magical man. We haven't done any of this. Is this a spoilers? Oh, I think this is spoilers. Oh no, there's clues if you get stuck. So I guess if you get stuck, there are options. So it says, I don't know, look through the telescope. I guess we'll do that. Let's have a wee peek. What what can we see? We're, uh, we're a stargazer, you guys. What we got? Anything interesting? Uh, ooh, ooh, what's this? A little planet. Okay, can we zoom in? Zoom. It looks like a shell, a little shell planet. Okay, we got a, we got a handle. What happens when we pull the handle? Ooh, we look out the other window. Okay, what's out here? Let's have a wee, wee peek. Uh, a comet? Can we zoom in? We can zoom out. Some kind of, ooh, like a tree planet. Okay, like a root planet. I guess we're gonna... We must be making a spaceship then. That was his dream. His dream was to make a spaceship. So maybe we then go to these planets. Maybe that's our objective. I like how we've been figuring out kind of the mission without necessarily, uh, not nece without necessarily, you know, any words. Ooh, what is that? That looks cool. That's, that's like a, a plant planet. Okay. So we've, we've been figuring out like the, the gameplay mechanics without actually, um, without actually any any dialogue like there've been a couple visual hints but everything else has just been kind of very cleverly i would say you know shown to us this is like a root planet we already had a root planet i guess this is root planet 2 this is orbiting root planet <gasps> is that a ship what we got there got a little ship okay that's interesting well maybe these are places we'll go later on let's go adventuring we've we've had a nap we've read our book it's time to explore come on little gnome let's go look at these little bunnies they're so cute um, can we, can we play this? If I, if I drag this on me while I play it? No, I don't want to listen to him. He's noisy. He has no, he has no rhythm. It's very upsetting. I wonder if I can play the horn. Like, if I drag the horn on me while I play it. No. He's like, eh, I don't feel like being a musical prodigy today. Ooh, what's this? We've got some controls. Let's do some controls. There's a goat! Right, what does, what does this one do? Okay, that moves that left and right, and if we move it along. So this what this control didn't do anything. 
So what does this control do? Moves it down? Okay. And if I press it now? Nothing. If I move this? It goes up. I am not figuring this out. Oh, okay. If I press the button, it, it drags it up and goes along, I think. This lowers it. Can I lower it on the other side? Maybe I can make a bridge. Okay, so it's lowered here. Let's see if we can walk on this. Can we walk on this? No. Can we walk down here? Maybe we can make a bridge lower down that we can cross? Perhaps if we, like, drag this along and then drop it down, we can make a little bridge. I love the little, like, goat animation in the background. I mean, he might be relevant. Can we click on him? No, we can't. I think that's just, like, picturesque. Oh, this music, you guys. Right, let's let's bring this to the top, see what happens. I'm not entirely con convinced on the controls. Press the button, nothing happens. Press this. Okay, it lowers down. And then drag this down. And press this. Shredunk. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Maybe I'm supposed to shredunk it. Because I, I can't make it low enough to make a bridge, right? So maybe we bring it... Yeah, that works. Let's, br let's bring it back. And then... Shredunk! Oh, yeah, it's broken there! So if we, if we do that again... One more shredunk, we'll do it. Shredunk is a verb, guys. To shredunk. I don't know if you've ever heard it. If you're if you're not if you're not uh, English is in your native language, I'm making shit up just for the record. One more shwadunk should do it. Oh, we've got to drag this down, and ha ha! I like that because it wasn't immediately intuitive. Like I thought I had to lower the platform down into the middle, but the platform doesn't go low enough. Um, but it gives you a clue as to what the solution is, and there was some nice kind of physics elements and like background elements, so you could see, for example, that there was a a broken bit. So you just got to be observant, I guess. Right, where are we heading? What's over here? A bird! Uh, I can't click on him. I like how he's slightly blurry because he's in the foreground. Hey, there's a mushroom man! What's he up to? He's got a hat. He makes, makes him look like he's a mushroom. And he's got, he got a very impressive beard. Shush, Jag Cat. We're, we're puzzling. No, it's not the time. That's my cat. He wants attention. Can we talk to him? I don't know. Oh, we can listen to this, can't we? Let's have a listen. Let's have a wee listen. See what we can find. Got some music. What are we hearing? Ooh, it's glowing. I learned a new song! Ooh, ghosts! Now we've already learned that if you commune with the ghosts, you can you can build giant robots and defeat squid monsters. So this seems pretty good. Also, I, can we can we point out that I think I have perfect pitch? Like I think I think my character legitimately has perfect pitch. Oh, we can click them. Oh, we need to use this, don't we? No, no. Oh, I gotta pull them. Whoop, whoop. Hey, now these guys look like mushrooms. Everything in this game looks like mushrooms. And Shredunk! Hooray! Shredunk is our just generic move. Oh, they're singing! Woo you, woo you! See, I I'm joining in, you guys. A little bit, I'm, I'm a fantastic singer. I don't have perfect pitch, unlike uh, my gnome friend there. Gosh, my cat is just messing around, so if you can hear, like, clunking noises and meowing, he's just he's just being a pest. It's like, oh, you're recording a video! Time to be, up, be an asshole. Hey, mushrooms! Wow, they literally were mushroom people. That's kind of cool. This music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop ruining it. Oh, he's collecting the mushrooms. He is the mushroom man. Did he just eat some? He's like, num, 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 num. Hmm. Maybe we can talk to him. Where else can we go here? Like, is he just gonna collect mushrooms forever? Ooh, what's this? It's zooming in. What we got? Can I, can I take his mushrooms? Oh, he's here. He's here. What have you got? A knife. Is he gonna cut me? Please don't cut me. Can I have your knife? Knife? Bliss? Oh, he's using it to slice up the mushrooms. Ha huh, ha. Huh. I don't know what that means. What have you got there? A box. Ooh. He's giving me playing cards. Playing cards, he says. We gotta play cards. And he's having a dream of a tent. Okay. <laughs> Okay, apparently apparently Nomi knows what's going on. Then maybe he'll give me the knife. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a puzzle. Got a pig. And a, 
a mammoth. And the pig and the mammoth are friends. They're definitely friends. We got a lake. We got we got a, a, a thing, a mushroom. Ooh, this one looks like the p p problem. This looks like the uh, the thing that he thought of. So this must be some kind of end card. Can we do this? What does this do? The people are hungry. They're like rubbing their bellies, I guess. How would you feel about a mammoth and a fire? We, we could put the mammoth on the fire. It doesn't seem to work. Mm. How about we, how about we, these men and some water? <gasps> Ooh, oh, they interact together. So they're, they're stabbing in the, oh, he's having a bath. That doesn't help. So I'm guessing that the end game is these hungry people you need to feed, right? So we got to feed them stuff and we got different options. We could maybe feed them the pig. So if we put the pig here, will they kill the pig? Oh man, the pig is fast. Right. All right, is he faster than an arrow? I'm gonna say no. Pew! Oh, he's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, if we put this here, will they eat the pig? No. Do I need to cook the pig? Cook pig. Uh, pig cook. Ha ha! Oh, we did it, you guys. We made some tasty pork. And then if I put this here? Oh, they're having a party. They're all happy because they're fed. That's how I would feel, to be honest, if I was eating some some pig. Whoopee! And now this is blank. Okay, so the pig is gone. They still don't look very happy. Do I have to maybe try and kill all of these different animals and feed them? Okay, maybe we can catch a fish. You can eat fish, right? Let's try and catch a fish. What we got? Oh, the sound effects are so good in this game. This game is just... It's just very quaint, you know? It's very relaxing. Uh, mushroom? Can we... Can we catch a mushroom? Maybe we can use the mushroom as bait. Okay, we got a mushroom. Uh, and then we use it as bait. Uh oh, okay. That that the yeah. Let's not let's not do that. That sounds like a bad plan. So we got a mushroom. Maybe we can do something else with the mushroom. Mm, maybe we can cook the mushroom? Does this work? I mean, you could maybe try and feed the mushroom to the elephant. Oh, I got a worm! Oh, I can definitely use a worm as bait. Worms are top quality bait, you guys. I, I have, I have, I have, like, I don't know, I haven't really been fishing. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that now, I haven't been fishing. But I'm sure they are top quality bait. Hey, see, look, we caught a fish. Case in point, worms are top quality bait. And then we cook the fish. And then we feed it to these people. Whoopee! Oh, they're having a great time. All right, we got another blank card, so we don't need that one anymore. All right, what about the deer? Can we just can we can we just stab the deer? No, 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 no. Doesn't work. Um, can we bow the deer? I mean, we 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 used the bow and arrow on the pig, so I feel like this is unlikely to work. Pew. Okay, we missed. We missed. Uh, he's too quick. Hmm. Maybe we can make him run in the water and drown. Because there was a tentacle monster in there. That doesn't really help us though, because now there's no deer. Um, shit. Oh, we got a new deer, okay. Maybe the fire? You wanna, you wanna eat the fire? No. You wanna eat the mushroom? Oh, he does wanna eat the mushroom. That was one bite, that was impressive deer. Oh, he's sick. Oh no, I made him sick! But this will make him easier to catch. Like, come on, sick deer is definitely easy to kill. Schwing! Aw, oh, I feel I feel a little bit guilty. He was cute. He was cute, and I just, like, stabbed him with an arrow. This guy is OP, you guys. This archer dude has killed literally everything. Well, except for fisherman dude. But I think fisherman dude is gone. So I guess we don't need fisherman dude anymore. I like how, like, if, if you're done with the card, it, it, it goes blank. So you can kind of figure it out a little more. So we need the mushroom? Do we feed the mushroom to the elephant? Oh, he, he does not give a shit about your mushroom. He just threw it away. Okay, that's no use. Um, we could just try and kill him. Like, let's chase him. Okay, he runs. Oh, oh, he, he goes across the gap. Oh, I thought, hmm. Maybe we can chase him into the, but he, maybe chase him towards the mushroom. Oh no, he ran all the way along. That's no use. Can we chase him into the archer maybe? Where's our elephant? There's our elephant. Chase him to the archer. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe we chase him into the pond? I mean, he's gonna fall in the pond. Oh, he's a stupid elephant. Oh dear, now he's a dead elephant. He's a stupid dead elephant. We chased him into the pond. Okay, success. And then we cook him. And, and then... Come on. 
It does, oh, I guess it, I guess an elephant, an entire elephant probably takes a little while to cook. And look at these guys, they're having a party. Whoopee! Whoopee! And then the hunter can go here and... Ooh! They had a baby! Oh, they, they got, they ate so much food that they, they had a food baby. You know that feeling when you ate so much that you feel pregnant? No? Just me? Okay, so we got a green card. Which was what he was thinking about, actually. So there we go. Is he gonna give me a knife? He's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, he gave me his knife! I can cut him. No, no, I'll stab him. Just cut off his mustache. Okay, that doesn't work. He's like, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to kill people. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, this music! I realize I'm, I'm kind of gushing about this game, you guys. But I, I love me some point and clicks. I mean, you, if you saw my Day of the Tentacle review, then uh, you'll know that. If you haven't, you should already watch it because point and clicks are great. Um, but I love me some point and clicks, so this is great. Can we do anything with these controls now? Maybe we can get further down or something? Oh, look at the little hop he did. Like, the, just the different animations are kind of great. He's like, heh, <laughs> doesn't give a shit about that. that. That's what happened when I told him to use the bathtub as well. Alright, let's go. So there's a clue book then and a regular book. And I guess if you get stuck... Wasn't this in the clue book? This garlic thing? This was definitely in the clue book. It had me like climbing on it or listening to it. I mean, it's got the icon for listening. So let's have a wee listen. Maybe we'll learn a new song. Hey, and then there's more spirits. What is that? Oh, that looks a bit like a, a tentacle. I'm a bit worried. That's a, a, that's a little bit sexual, you guys. He's going wah, and then like stuff is spurting out. <gasps> My spaceship! I need to turn this into a spaceship. Oh man, that is the most sexual looking spaceship ever. Please stop doing that. Can I, can I leave? It's making me uncomfortable. My spaceship is making me uncomfortable. Yoo-hoo! Yoo it's in the water. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, there's a fish! There's a fish! Go back, go back, go back! Can we get the fish? No. Okay, well there's a fish. You can you can summon a fish. Maybe that's just like, you know, stuff that looks nice. Like, maybe, maybe this doesn't actually achieve anything. Yeah, I think that's just like visual stuff. Like the bunnies. There is, there is definitely visual elements. And perhaps they're red herrings? We can go down here. What's down here? Uh, a friend! I made a friend. He can be my friend. Will you be my friend? Hello. I'm thinking about a spaceship. Well, I did that. <gasps> it's an inventor! Maybe he can make a spaceship. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I need to find these things. Mm -hmm. Gotta find some elements. Hey, look, there's another one of those deer. What is this? I can listen to it. Let's have a wee listen. What do you sound like? Am I gonna learn a new song? Holy moly, I am talented. What is that? That is, that is terrifying. Knife. Slice. Oh, it's saying I should slice it. It's a clue. A clue? Is it a clue? I think it's a clue. It's a creepy clue, but it's a clue nonetheless. <laughs> so bizarre. This game is just... It's not really like any other point and click I've played. And I love that they don't, they don't use text at all. Like, this is a game which is automatically translated to your language because it has no language. Hey, that kind of looks like the top of the thing. So then we needed... What else did we need? we we'll talk to him. He'll show me, maybe. We need the bottom. A chair. Some controls. And a, a bath? Bathtub? Is that my bathtub? Can I just, like, give him my bathtub? If I just, like, you know... I mean, admittedly, I'll, I'll never be clean again, but... It's fine. It's fine. Like... I, if I smell bad, it should be fine. All right, let's go. Fast mode. Yeah, look at this. Look at me go. I'm so quick. And wasn't there some controls in my house? Like at the top, the controls for the the telescope? Maybe I need the telescope controls. Bathtub. And this is a, that's technically a chair. Does that count? 
Oh yeah. Did we do it? We did it! Good job. And there's so there's the chair, and then there's like some controls. And there's controls for the we, we had we saw controls twice earlier. Once for my telescope and were there not controls that we used earlier to cross that gap, make the bridge? And he shrugged at them previously, and he shrugged at my bath previously, so maybe we need those controls. Right, let's just let's just go. I think we figured this out. Leave. Come on. We don't need we don't need you, old man. Better than this. Hey, look at this parkour, you guys. I think our objective here is to make the make the the um, spaceship, and then and then we'll wrap it up because I think that's like enough first impressions. You guys have definitely got a feel for how the game plays, and I don't want to spoil too many of the puzzles. Though I definitely want to play a little bit more of this. Like it's so, it's just nice. There's very there are very few games that I play that I'm like they just feel fun to play. Like uh, Stardew Valley is another game like that where it's just relaxing. And given the nature of a lot of games with them. Um, you know, shooters and MOBAs and stuff where it's very, you know, fast-paced and action-y. This is just quite chill, you know, it's quite pleasant. But it's also, it's also like a little bit, like, puzzling, and I, I quite enjoy puzzles. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Even jigsaw puzzles, I'm one of those nerds. The people who enjoy jigsaw puzzles are few and far between. And I am one of them. If you like jigsaw puzzles, like, let me know in the comments below, below that I'm not alone. Like, tell me that I'm not alone in, in my love of jigsaw puzzles. My house really does look like the main character from Machinarium. Like the, I like that the, the the developers they have a very consistent artistic style. Like their artistic style is always it, it carries across between their games. And this is this is exactly like the Flash games, just kind of you know HD. It's more lush. It's more fun. I mean, admittedly, in the Flash games, you you the puzzles didn't require you to go between areas. Like each puzzle was one screen, and once you solved that screen, you moved on to the next one. It was maybe a little bit more linear. Uh, whereas this feels more of an adventure game, and this is meant to be a full, complete game. Um, so it's a full, complete Samaros adventure, as opposed to his previous adventures, which were Flash games. Um, and so if you want to try out a, a Samaros game before you buy this one, you know, to see if it's, it's your kind of thing, do tr check out Samaros 1, see if you can find it online. Um, but if not, like, you don't need to play it to play this. A Wow, that is, that is like a ratchet spaceship. That is the most ratchet spaceship I've ever seen. It's probably the perfect spaceship for me. Oh, oh he's so cute! Oh. <laughs> hey, look at that. In we go. Oh. Right, I, I apparently I already know how to fly a spaceship. Maybe I've done this before. Here it goes! Come on, please, please don't crash. Maybe we try and fly and we crash land somewhere else and then we have to solve another puzzle. Hey, and he's waving goodbye, goodbye. But goodbye, Mr. Inventor. Hey, isn't this where we were? Yeah, because this is, so that's my house. And then that's, that's like where the guy was doing his experimenting. Why did I fly over here? Am I, oh, am I returning his, am I returning his knife? Oh man, I'm a good Samaritan. I'm like, cheers mate. And I've returned his knife. Oh, he's my mushroom friend. Okay, so we've returned the knife. I guess we can't use that later on. And then we can go up, up, up. Should we go up? Let's see where we end up. Okay, so that's the one of the planets we saw from the... I think that's one of the planets we saw from the telescope. And then this is the uh, comet. And I guess we go to the comet. Um, but yeah, I think, we'll, well, I think we'll wrap it up there. I guess, oh, this is as far as I can go. So I can only go within this circle. So I have to go to the comet before I go to the planet, basically. Huh, that's really neat. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Wow. This this comet looks like a hairy testicle with bugs on it. I'm not gonna lie, this has just made me really uncomfortable. So even got like, look at these like hairs, little beasties, all sorts of nonsense. But I think we're gonna wrap it up there, guys. Um, this has been Samaros 3, and I've been Francesca from the Kilobits. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, you know, about the art style and everything. If you enjoy, if you think it's a cool game, let me know, and let me know you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, if you like it, press like. I'm just stuttering here. Uh, beyond that, you can find us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash thekilobits. And on Twitter, at thekilobits. Uh, and if you want to give us a, a dollar or two, we have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash thekilobits. Uh, and I'm going to keep playing this. This is this is awfully quaint. Let's go. Learn new music. Play new stuff. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.